Hello children, if you are watching this video now, my guess is that you are 100% using internet services. We all know what is internet. Internet is a worldwide network that connects millions of computers allowing them to share information with each other. Today, you can use the internet to send and receive messages, chat with friends, pay bills, book tickets, buy and sell goods, play games, listen to music and watch videos. Like this one where you are learning in about internet services. The biggest advantage of using the internet is that you can access this service and information on it from anywhere in the world at any time of the day. Internet can be used only when your computer is connected to the internet. There are various companies called internet service providers that provide us the internet connection for a fee. BSNL, Airtel, Tata and Jio are some of the popular internet service providers. They provide us access to the internet through telephone lines, cables or using radio frequency bands. There are many ways to connect to the internet. Let's go one by one. We are looking at three of them. Dial up broadband and wireless. Dial-up connection uses a telephone line to connect to the computer, uh, to the internet. It requires a device called modem to work as an interface between the computer and telephone line. Modem converts analog signals transmitted through the phone line into digital signals and vice versa. The dial-up connection is a slow connection and most of the people are now moving on to a broadband connection. Broadband connection is the most used form of internet connection because of its high speed. A broadband connection is available in different forms such as DSL, digital subscriber line, broadband cable connection using a fiber optic cables and satellite connection. A broadband connection allows us to use internet services that requires high speed such as playing online games or watching online videos. With broadband connection, you can be constantly connected to the internet. The third one is the wireless connection. Wireless connection uses radio frequency bands for connecting to the internet. It affects high speeds and can be used for mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones. It is broadband connection without using wires or cables. It uses either the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth technology. Wi-Fi can be found in homes, cafes, airports and other public spots. The internet provides us with tools for performing a number of useful tasks or activities. Services like sending and receiving mails, searching for information, talking to friends and family through video chatting applications, Buying products from online stores, listening to online music, watching online movies, playing online games, booking tickets for travel and movies. Now let us see one of the main services of the internet, communication using email. We will learn in detail about how to open an email account using Gmail, composing, replying, forwarding an email, attaching a file and email adequate. As we know, email stands for electronic mail. It is a facility on the internet to send and receive messages from one user to another. It is the fastest and most popular medium of communication. In order to send and receive emails, you need to register with the email service provider that provides you with a username and a secret code or password for logging into your account. There are many websites that allow you to create your email account for free of cost. Gmail, Yahoo and Hotmail are some of the most popular email service providers. When you create an email account, you are provided with a unique email address using which people can send you mails. An email address is made up of two parts. The first part is the username that you choose and the second part is the domain name of the email service provider. At the rate symbol is a symbol used to separate the username from the domain name. Let's go through this video providing instructions to create a Gmail account. Creating an email account. 
First, open the web browser such as Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. In this case, I am opening Google Chrome. Then, step 2, type the address www.gmail.com or you can go and find the website also, google.com. Then, www.gmail.com. In the address bar, the Gmail homepage will appear. Click on the create account button at the bottom to fill up the registration form and sign up for a new account. You will give the name, first name, last name. You will select a unique username and then a password which you can remember. The password will consist of 8 digits uh, plus more than 8 digits. It will have symbols, alphabets and numbers. As soon as you create the account, write down the password somewhere where you can remember. The registration form appears. Fill up all of the necessary details in the given text box. Review the Google Terms and Service and then click on I agree button. Then when you open, you will log in into your email box. Once you open the account, it, and give all the details it will check if you are below 13 years of age google will not allow you to create an email account in that case you may need to take the help of your parent or teacher to create the account for you once an email account is created you can log in anytime using the username and password after logging in you are taken to the inbox where you can see your mails we see various folders or options which store specific emails as per their function. Click on Compose to write a new mail. Inbox will have all received mails. Sent mails are stored in the Sent folder. Unwanted spam messages are stored in the Spam folder. Deleted mails will be in Thrash. Different components of the Compose window. Two box we give email address of recipient whom you want to send the mail. You can send the same mail to more than one person by typing their email addresses here separated by commas. CC and BCC. CC stands for the carbon copy. It is used to add an email address of the recipient who should receive a copy of the mail. The email address mentioned in the CC are visible to all the recipients. BCC stands for blind carbon copy. It is also used to add email addresses of the recipients who will receive a copy of the mail. However, the email address of other recipients mentioned in, the, in this field are not visible to the receiver. Subject field can be used to give a brief idea of the recipient about the content of the email. The content or text of the mail will be typed under the actual content of the email is typed in the text area or the email body. That may include the greeting, paragraphs and closing by your name. To apply different formatting to the text, you can select the text formatting option. Send button is to send the mail and the attachments icon is used to attach various files like pictures audios, videos, or any other format. Steps to compose an email. Click the Compose button. Compose window will appear. Enter the address of the receiver into the To field. Enter the subject of the mail in the Subject field. Type the content of the mail in the blank space provided. Click the Send button to send an email. For replying to a received mail, use the reply option. To reply to all the email addresses mentioned in the mail, use the reply to all option. You can send a received mail to another person by using the forward option. You can delete a mail either after opening it or without it, uh, without opening it by pressing the deleting mail option. To attach the files into your mails, click on the paper clip icon from the toolbar at the bottom of the compose window. 
then a window appears from where you can select the files for attaching from your computer you can attach multiple files to your email in case you need to attach multiple files you can use compression utility software such as winrar or winzip to compress and combine all files into a single one to re reduce the size of the files being used do not click on lottery or other mails that promise your gifts or money they are generally used to install malware on your computer malware is harmful software that may damage or steal your data it is important to sign out of your account after you have completed using it to protect your privacy you should make sure to do it specially while using the public computers if you don't sign out others who may use the same computer could gain access to your mailbox and private data email is a formal way of communication therefore you need to follow some rules and etiquettes while sending an email some of the etiquettes are think about the subject that convey the topic of the email include hi good morning dear before the recipient's name take time to construct the email body do not use all lower case or all capital letters close the message with courteous uh, line and phrase like thank you regards try to keep your email short and to the point we have seen that we can use the internet for performing various activities we have also learned how we can use the internet to send and receive mails let us now learn how to how it can be used to create a comic strip make believes comics is a web based tool that helps user to create a comic strip using mouse actions such as click or drag and drop each comic strip created using this can be emailed printed and saved to the computer let us see how the make believes comics.com works hi welcome mr green in the library here uh, we're doing a video tutorial on how to use make believe comics it's an online comic creator that allows you to add clip art background uh, thought bubbles characters talk bubbles and you're able to create this and, and you're able to print it out or you can also email the comic that you make so let's get started this is the home page of make believe comics when you enter there all you're going to do is click uh, enter here and at that point you you have your uh, comic panels and you have your buttons or your controls you have your selection window you have your characters and then you have all your care uh, clip art right here and backgrounds and so forth you can choose between a two panel or a three panel and, and then also you have an option for a four panel but for this demonstration we're going to go with a two panel uh, things to be aware of first thing is they should have a name for your comic what what's your uh, message or your idea or wh what do you got to call it and then of course the uh, your name or the author's name if it's a collaborative or not um, so let's just jump in with some of the um, some of the characters first we'll jump with characters I think the characters and the tools uh, really go hand in hand so we're going to choose, um, we have a scroll bar here. And let's see if we can find Abe Lincoln. So there it goes, Abe. So we have Abe. I want to add Abe into my, into my first panel. However, I don't want him facing to the left. I actually want him facing to the right. So we can flip-flop him. Now, once we flip-flop him, I want to move him over a little bit more. We need to go back to the move control to move the character because if we left them on the flip control and then we're trying to flip trying to move them it's it's not going to work so we have them facing the opposite direction uh, now the next panel is that we want to add maybe some I don't know maybe some some clip art let's put in that clip art yeah we'll put in some clip art so uh, I want to add Oh, let's add a bicycle, and I tell you what, let's add in our friend Abe again. But this time we have Abe's a little too solid. What they do is they give you an opportunity to change the um, the emotion of your characters. And I think we're going to get Abe right here. And I want to move Abe right here. And I want to move my other character right here. And actually, I want to scale this bicycle. So we're going to click Scale. We're going to make this bicycle smaller. 
and we're going to click back on our move. We're going to move Abe up a little bit more. And let's give uh, Abe a, a thought bubble. And I want to make it a smaller one. Let's choose that. And we're going to move this guy up. Oops. There he goes. Okay. What could this be? So Abe is discussing whether, what is this uh, object right here? So we, we have uh, a little bit of dialogue. We have some characters. Um, now I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually add, add something called the panel prompt. And now let's go over here to our third. And we're going to click the next day. And then, of course, let's choose Abe again. And let's add him in there the next day. He just finished writing the Gettysburg Address. Who knows? But there's a lot of different things you can you can do to manipulate your characters. And again, here's Abe. I want to make Abe a little larger. We want to scale. We want to make him bigger. Click up. Uh, I want to flip him. I want him to go the other way. I want to move him back a little bit. There we go. And actually, look what happens here. Let me show you. See how like he's blocking this? So really what I want to do is I want this to be on, on front of that. So we are going to do something called bring to front. And then we're going to click this right here. The next day. So that's how the bring to front uh, feature works. Um, so that's just sort of a quick tutorial of how this is all put together. When you're done and you, you, you or if you want to edit things or you want to see what it's going to look like, you're not going to print it, print it from here, which some people mistaken. You're going to click your next and of course now review you can go back and edit you can create a new comic if you want to print you can print it if you want to email it you can also email it so that you have a lot of different options and again make believe comics this comic creator is only one part of make believe comics there are so many other things that go along with it so have some fun with make believe comics since the internet is an unfamiliar place with millions of unknown people on it there is the danger of your information being misused. Therefore, you need to keep yourself safe while using the internet. Given here are some guidelines that you can follow to keep yourself safe. Browse only those websites recommended by the teachers and parents. Keep your parents or guardian informed before creating accounts on various websites. Make sure your parents know of your online activities. This includes your social network and usage of search engines. Report unwanted activities or users that you may come across to your parents or guardian. Create complex passwords that has a combination of alphabets, numbers and sim symbols. Change your passwords frequently. Do not share your passwords with others. Be careful about interaction with unknown people over the internet. Never reveal your personal information such as name, address and phone numbers as strangers can be misused. Post your messages after giving it some thought, a careful read and thorough review. Before we end this chapter, let us see what we learned. We learned to identify ways to connect to the internet, to explore various services provided by the internet, to create and use an email account and follow email etiquettes to use Make Believe Comics site to create comic strips and how to be safe on the internet by following safety measures. That's all for now. Happy browsing on the internet. Stay safe. Browse safe. Enjoy emailing and comic strips. Bye.